In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to fix the GeForce Now FPS counter locking slash capping out in games. This has been a prominent issue for many users on many different games like Fortnite and Apex Legends. I've noticed it on Fortnite mainly, and I get caps of 75 FPS sometimes, 165, 60, and even 120 FPS. To fix this issue, there are many things you can do. So the first thing I would recommend everyone do is turn off VSync. So to turn off VSync, all you need to do is open up GeForce Now, click on Menu, click on Settings, and then your streaming quality, it should be set on Balanced automatically. I have mine set on Custom so I can get the best streaming quality. So if you guys want to know how to get the best streaming quality, you can follow these settings here. And I have all of these settings explained in the video in the top right, so make sure you guys watch that here. But what you guys want to do is just turn VSync off. So normally it's set on adaptive. So just make sure you click on adaptive here and set it off. VSync is the main cause of the FPS cap as it essentially locks out your FPS. This is only one of the VSync settings as there is one in game as well. Either way, I recommend VSync be turned off for GeForce Now as it causes a lot of input delay, making the game sometimes unplayable. In game, you will have to find out how to turn off VSync in that specific game. So for something like Fortnite, if I just click on play here, I will have a queue first of 269. So if you guys want to know how to skip the GeForce Now queues, I have a video in the top right that also shows you how to instantly skip the wait queues. And I recommend everybody watches that if you guys are struggling with wait queues. And so I'll be back when my queue is done. So once you've queued in Fortnite, go into settings over here, click on settings. And what you're going to do is under VSync, make sure that it is in fact off. And then also while you're here, make sure to set your FPS cap to unlimited to see if that helps. And then just click apply. And then you're going to have to restart your game. And while we're on the topic of restarting your game, the next thing you can do is restart your game. As you may have the 2060 rig. Basically, NVIDIA has a bunch of rigs. And as a free user, you, you get the GeForce RTX 20 series. And for ultimate users on some games, you may also get the 20 series as well. Specifically, you can get a 2060 rig, which is the reason why your FPS is capping. What you can do is simply restart your game and see if you're still running the 2060 rig. So restart your game, and if that doesn't work, then close GeForce Now first and then restart after. To see if you're running the 2060 rig or any other rig, all you need to do is simply queue in your game, which I have done here. And then just hit Control N. And as you can see, I'm on the GeForce GTX 1060 rig, which is why my FPS is capping like that. So I didn't mention this before, but you can also get the 10 series as well. So just make sure that if this ever happens to you guys, just close Fortnite and then reopen it and see if it works. What you wanna ideally be aiming for is the 2080 rig as it doesn't have any FPS cap on the 2080 rig, so just try to get that. The next thing you guys can do is change your server. Now there are two things you guys can do. The first thing you can do is to try other servers that are closest to you. So click menu, settings, and then go down to server location here and then just choose any server that's closest to you. So for me, it's the US servers, so I'm gonna click on the US servers here. Or what you can do is see what your auto server is, so my auto server is CA East and I'm just going to manually select CA East over here and click it from here and then just go back into your game and then see if it works. Another thing you guys can do is reinstall GeForce Now. To properly reinstall, you must first remove GeForce Now entirely. So open up run by hitting Windows key plus R and then type in appwiz.cpl which I already have typed in from before. Click enter or continue. And then simply just scroll down until you find GeForce Now, which is over here. Click uninstall slash change. Click uninstall here. And now that it's uninstalled, just click close here. Minimize this window. Click download GeForce Now here. I'll leave a link to this website in the description below. And then under Windows PC, since I'm on Windows, I'm going to click download here. And now it should be downloading. And once it's downloaded, just click on the actual EXE here. 
and then you'll see this here and this process does take some time so just wait for that and once it eventually opens click agree and continue and then you'll see these menus here so just click next got it and then log in here so another thing i would recommend as well is creating a new account or logging out and re-logging back in but if you uninstalled it should automatically log you out so you will have to log back in another thing you guys can do is simply reset your settings on your game i noticed that for fortnite specifically this method works so just go into settings over here and what you're gonna do is simply click reset here click reset click restart now and then you're gonna have to go through this process again so just click sign in with epic games and once i've signed in just open up fortnite again and you'll see this battle eye launcher so just wait for this and now once you've loaded in just go back into menu settings and then just click on settings here and then set your fps limit back to unlimited here and then scroll down until you see show fps and then just click on here and after this your fps should not be capped the last thing you should always do is contact nvidia support if nothing else works you can live chat with them or you can send feedback within the app they will provide further assistance to fix this issue. Watch the video in the top right that shows you exactly how to contact NVIDIA support. And at the end of the day, the FPS cap does not hinder the performance of the game, especially for free users since you can only stream up to 60 FPS regardless, so the FPS counter in game barely makes a difference. If you guys do want to have smoother streaming quality or limited mouse delay, make sure to watch the video in the top right that shows you all the ways you can play GeForce Now without lagging. Also, I am running a GeForce Now gift card giveaway where one of you guys will have the chance to have GeForce Now Ultimate for a month. All you need to do is simply like this video and subscribe to my channel, leave a comment saying that you did that, and then watch the video in the top right and follow all the steps in that video. The winner will most likely be announced by the end of August with a video, so keep an eye out for that. I will personally contact the winner and give them a gift card where they can either choose Priority or Ultimate. Also, the more videos you comment on, the better chances you have of winning, so good luck. Also, if you guys join as a channel member, which is in the link in the description, you get access to my Discord server where there's going to be tech support and giveaways where you can win ultimate for free for one month. You will also get priority replies if you need any help on YouTube and shoutouts, so make sure to join. Also, all my future giveaways will be in that Discord server for premium users. So if you guys do want to win a GeForce Now gift card, it's only 99 cents Canadian, which is probably less if you're American. I think it's 70, 75 cents ish. So make sure you guys do join that. Anyways, I hope this video helped. Please leave a like and subscribe. Join the giveaway as time is running out for you guys to join the giveaway. And join as a member for exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.